huge bombshell announcement by Monica Rial over on Twitter, putting out an official statement basically clarifying Vic Mignogna's actions as the sexual allegations for Vic Mignogna continue to pour in. Monica Rial went on Twitter to put out a public statement on the entire issue, basically detailing what had happened from the beginning in direct connection to Vic Mignogna. And once again, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys go ahead and punch that subscribe button and enable all notifications to stay in the loop with the entire Monica Rial and Vic Mignogna situation as one of her statements over on Twitter goes as follows. First, please know that I've tried to address this behavior with him and I'm the kind of friend that will tell you when you have food in your teeth and I was tired of people talking about him behind his back. How would he change if he didn't know his behavior was wrong? Each time he would apologize and then be back at it within weeks. The studios slowly began to stop working with him, not just because of the sexual harassment, but because he was difficult to work with. Even though he had a huge fan following, directors began to look elsewhere. Whenever he saw me, he would take a fistful of my hair, pull my hair back, and either whisper so closely to my ear that his lips were touching or kiss my cheek slash neck. This was usually done in front of fans or colleagues, so I had to be very careful about how I reacted basically insinuating that Vic would go up to her and pull her hair and whisper in her ear so close enough to where his lips were touching her cheek and neck. I didn't even realize how inappropriate it was because he did it to so many people. I've witnessed it happen just as others have witnessed it happen to me colleagues and fans. In the mid-2000s, we were at a convention together and he grabbed me and kissed me in his hotel room. I froze. You may wonder, why didn't I yell or scream or push him away? I was scared. Why? Because I was raped as a teenager and I learned that sometimes fighting back makes it worse. Why did I go to his room? Because he asked me to go watch a video and I had trusted him because he was my friend. Not only that, but he was dating my friend Michelle and I had been flirting with my soon-to-be boyfriend at the convention all weekend. After that experience, I distanced myself from him and unfortunately, Michelle as well. I felt incredibly guilty even though I hadn't done anything wrong. I went to therapy and worked on forgiveness. I chose to forgive him for what he had done. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it was a one-time thing, never to be repeated again. You can imagine my devastation when I learned that I wasn't the only one. That it was happening to my colleagues and worse yet, convention attendees, referencing fans. As she continues, all the pictures and messages that are being passed around were taken at the press event and premiere for the Broly movie in mid-December. About two weeks after that, three of my close friends came forward. When these friends shared their stories with me, I was heartbroken. How could this happen to three of my close friends without me ever knowing? As more people came forward, I began to see the similarities. I chose to share my testimony with investigators solely because it corroborated the other's testimony. I didn't start this. I have nothing to gain from it. I didn't steal anyone's roles and or titles. The stuff you're hearing on YouTube is all lies, attempting to create drama and get subs slash views. I'm perfectly content being just a voice actor. The investigations were incredibly thorough. Each person was interviewed, the evidence weighed, and a decision made. Each company has to look out for the safety of their employees. In this instance, these companies felt that they had made the best decision to protect their employees and contract workers. Also, these companies referencing Rooster Teeth and Funimation aren't obligated to share any information with you, which is true. Many of the women that have came forward have chosen to remain anonymous, especially after seeing the way I've been attacked. Please respect their privacy. I didn't want to come forward on Twitter, but I felt like I had to do something because my friends' lives, children, and careers were being threatened. Also, I knew if I didn't, there was a very good chance that this would get swept under the rug. Again. I apologize for lashing out and threatening fans. I don't want to have to take people to court or send law enforcement after them, but I was doing what I felt was necessary to protect myself at the time. There is a watch list and I have the names and numbers of multiple harassers, but I'm willing to forgive you if you'll stop the madness now. 
You may feel that my colleagues and I have been harsh, but let me ask you this. How would you respond if your life was being threatened? If the lives of the ones you loved, your friends and your friends' children were being threatened? If your addresses and phone numbers were being passed around like candy so people can call and drop by just to antagonize you, the local authorities made sure to drive past your house daily just to make sure you're okay. If you were forced to be on the phone with various law enforcement and lawyers every single day, if people were trying to get you fired just because you came forward with the truth, if you were doxxed because people think it's fun to attack those who are hurting. I always stood up for this community. I have loved the anime fandom from the moment I went to my first convention. To be threatened like this by the community I love really hurts my heart. I recently stood up for the Dragon Ball fandom, only to have the community come back and attack me mercilessly. It has been so incredibly painful I can't even express. I have never said anything hurtful towards Vic or any of his fans. I don't want to ruin his life. He was slash is my friend. I don't want him to be labeled as a predator for life. I want him to get help and realize that his actions have hurt many people, including me. If he takes the necessary steps to better himself, then perhaps I would be willing to forgive him again. I'm tired of the fighting, I'm tired of all the threats, all of it. From here on, I will only be posting positivity and light. Any threats or retaliation will be met with an immediate block. I'm not wasting any more time on this matter, it's over, this has been incredibly difficult for everyone involved, please be kind to each other, much love, Monica Rial. Now this is straight from Monica Rial herself, she went on ahead to put out a statement basically claiming and going about her story on what happened with Vic Mignogna, Vic Mignogna has not put out any public statement yet, it's safe to assume that right now he has contacted a law firm, so he might be taking this straight to the courts and trying to figure this out and solve this there. Although I do agree, I would like to see Vic Mignogna put out a public statement himself, because a lot of the claims that are coming out are very, very interesting, especially now with Monica. All of the other claims have been debunked, with people having to tamper with evidence, having to Photoshop and discredit irrefutable information you know, fake swatting, all that stuff, and she goes on to state that back in the early 2000s, she had attended a convention together where, of course, she agreed to go to Vic's room to watch a video, and that's where Vic Mignogna had made some moves on her within the hotel room. So, of course, that could leave someone traumatized, but again, I also do sympathize with her in an essence to where she felt scared, but then again, if something were to happen to you, then what would you do in that situation? Would you not speak out? Of course, she had a fear, she claims that she had a fear and going on and saying you may wonder why I didn't yell or scream or push him away I was scared but then again if you knew about this you would not allow him to get away with this I think that is the main criticism that she is getting is the fact that she knew about this the entire time and if he was doing this if he was preying upon people like this and kissing people and pulling people's hair and doing those type of types of things then how come these people let him get away with that? Let's say, for example, looking at this objectively, if he is guilty in this case, then why is it that they allowed him to walk? If, for example, you see a murder, or you see someone get robbed, or you see someone get raped before your eyes, would you not testify and object right then and there in speaking out on the matter? If you see someone get killed, would you not say something? If you see a terrorist with a bomb, would you not say something? If you yourself had a sister, a mother, a daughter, and they were being touched by someone in front of you, would you not say something? That is the only criticism that she is receiving in the fact that people are asking, why didn't you say something right then and there? That would have prevented a lot of colleagues and a lot of friends and a lot of other attendees from potentially having to be assaulted the way she's describing here. So I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. What are your thoughts on Monica Rial's statement? Do you guys believe that she's genuine? If you guys do sympathize with her, let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear Vic Mignogna's side of the story. If Vic had done this, it's as simple as coming clean. All you have to do is come clean and admit that you're wrong and you know go about that. But if he comes out saying that, no, I've never done this before, then further elaborate as to why. Because again, 
this is running really deep and a lot of people are being affected by this and again i do agree with her in the fact that you should not make threats you should not dox you should not harass and this is really spiraling out of control and i really would like to get your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys side with monica on this or not so Again, this is her statement, and again, if you guys are new to this channel and want to be kept up to date with all latest information, hit that subscribe button, guys. Share this video out to your friends and family. Share this video out all over social media so people can see what's going on. I do thank you all so much for your support. Tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys. Peace.